I'm Brad from Tsunami Compressed Air, and I'm going to take a few minutes and explain the difference between water vapor and liquid that's in a system. Uh, in many compressed air systems, people have taken what's considered a filter, and sometimes they call this a dryer or they think that they're drying the air. Well, any filter is designed to only remove liquids to where this filter is. So there's a rule of 20s in compressed air. For every 20 degrees Fahrenheit, you lower the air temperature, you will remove approximately 50% of that starting water. So that keeps sequentially going down, so you get less and less and less every time. So example, if this is mounted inside a building and your dust collector's outside, and let's say it's 90 degrees in your building, as the air passes through this filter at 90 degrees, we're gonna capture any liquids at 90 degrees that pass through this filter. Okay, once it leaves here, maybe it's in the fall and it's outside and it might be uh, 50 degrees. So from 90 to 70, we would lose 50% of that water could turn to a liquid. From 70 to 50, that starting point, another 50%. So example, this is just a representation, it's liquid right now, but this is just a representation of humidity that's in the air. So if this was at 90 degrees as it left that filter and it comes outside and now it's only 70 degrees, this is the amount of water vapor that's left in the air. So as this air travels further away and this condenses out and it changes to 50 degrees, that's the amount of water that's left in the air at 50 degrees. And if it's freezing outside, so if you keep going down, you keep removing this by 50% every time you lower the air temperature 20 degrees. So the importance of our all-in-one system, or Tsunami Regenerative Dryer for Dust Collectors, is we eliminate that entire issue. We not only take out liquids with the filtration, but we take out any water vapor. So example, when it's 30 below or 40 to below zero, there's virtually no, the, the, uh, the dew point of the air, there's virtually no vapor in here. So when your valve's rapid expanse as they cycle, there, there's really no vapor that's ever going to condense out and contaminate your filter bags or your cartridges.